Anyway, throughout the day, CNBC is bringing you rare access inside the new world that is trading on Twitter. Kate Kelly back at HQ with a look at how tweets are impacting commodity trading. That's right, Mark. Not long ago, ag traders spent hours on the phone dialing for data on the upcoming U.S. harvest season or even days trolling up and down Interstate 80 doing windshield surveys of the crops in the Corn Belt. But now all that is changing, thanks in large part to Twitter. Matthew Pierce, a.k.a. Grains Guru, tweets about commodities from the floor of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. But it's the growth of the farming community on Twitter, he says that has really caught his eye. A lot of people think of farmers as, you know, a guy sitting in his pickup truck talking at the diner. That's not the image that they are today. They are in front of their computers, they are on Twitter, they are on instant message. It's a great thing to see, and I think that's going to only help the agricultural trade as we move forward. What sort of information is a grains trader looking for about farms like this one in south central Nebraska? Soil conditions, planting intentions, harvest results? anything and everything that would give them an edge during this commodities bull run. We've got every reason to think that we'll have a real good year this year. Zach Honeycutt, a fifth generation family farmer we visited in Nebraska, is a case in point. Honeycutt began tweeting two years ago out of boredom in the tractor. But Twitter soon became his main information source. And last summer, a tweet from an Ohio farmer helped him turn those messages into profits. What he posted on Twitter after he had driven through here was that, you know, we, we should feel lucky because we had the, the best looking corn he saw between here in Ohio. And so that gave us the confidence to maybe hold out a little bit for uh, prices to go higher. Hold back he did, says Honeycutt, making $200,000 in the process. You start to piece together things, it all starts to make a little more sense. To ag traders like Tom Grisafi, Twitter now justifies its own screen and yeah, analyst on the, the trading WTI floor, brand. right alongside the futures yeah. tape. He says it's both cheap and highly predictive. You look at Twitter and then you see different things and it's an ongoing, continuing, never-ending newsletter being put in front of you relatively uh, inexpensively. Grisafi, a.k.a. Indiana Grain Co., now counts himself part of that growing network, tweeting multiple times a day about corn prices, USDA surveys, even oil prices. Mark, coming up on Power Lunch, we'll go inside one hedge fund that is looking to predict changes in the Dow using millions of random tweets. Well, that sounds like fun. All right, thanks, Kate. Thank you. Reminder, a lot more trading on Twitter coverage on the CNBC.com homepage, including a slideshow that reveals all the places those tweets travel in cyberspace in between farm fields and trading floors.